Hello, this is my 17th video for the Autism Information Channel and this is going to be Autism Coexisting with Visual Verbal Agnosia Not to be confused with Visual Agnosia um, I've done a video previously on that subject and that Agnosia Now Visual Verbal Agnosia um, particularly affected me when I was a child and it's not also it's not to be confused with dyslexia either, either although it can coexist with it visual verbal agnosia is to do with language particularly when reading at least in my case it was to do with reading so for example i could read alice in wonderland uh, perfectly but if the teacher was to say well what have you just read Paul what bits did you like um, I wouldn't be able to verbalize what 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 to say or it's to do with comprehension of what you are reading you can read it almost in an echolalic route fashion but not be able to come back with any knowledge of what you've read which is contradictory I suppose to the person observing you could read the Bible but you wouldn't have any comprehension of what you're reading and this again affected me during my early years of school I can remember particular incidences where I, I'd be reading a book I would read the words and then just focus on the pictures and that's another thing I used to do so it was I wasn't getting the gist of of what I was reading so I would go on to something else that struck me and that was the pictures on the pages um, does this I suppose the question is does this still affect me now and that, the answer is yes it, it does affect me now it does affect me when I'm reading things and it's also to do with processing information as well as a lot of our noses are but this is specifically to do with words and what you're reading and what you're comprehending I suppose the best advice I could give from a personal experience if a teacher is working with a child with this visual verbal agnosia or autism coexisting with this is find another way of getting the child integrated um, the student integrated into class that there's probably another way that this can be done um, and never ever assume that because someone seemingly doesn't understand the words on the page that doesn't mean they're stupid that doesn't mean that they're naughty it what it does mean is that that it opens up the possibilities that there is another way to teach this child there's another way to teach this student that's again looking reflectively of how the teachers could have integrated me into the class if they had known what I had um, so again I like to give personal experiences of, of things and I hope I've clarified what visual verbal agnosia is it's to do with the comprehension of reading it's to do with if you can imagine again another example someone reading fluently on the page so they're reading paragraph by paragraph but you tell them about comprehending and saying what have you just read can you make sense of it well again it's route learning so the advice I can give from personal experience is to find another way of getting the language out of getting the understanding out so again I hope you've enjoyed this this video I have a feeling there may be a few questions which are I'll be certainly willing to answer with this video. Thank you very much for listening.